We, we have some. Oh boy, the Mushoku Tensei fandom, they, they, they ain't being the allegation with this one. Okay, I've been recommended a Twitter thread. Basically, the context here seems to be, dude got caught by YouTuber. This is Jideon though, right? I'm pretty sure this is Jideon. And is basically trying to catch a PDF file. And he confronted him. And let's see, you know, <laughs> what the video is about. Kind of turned me on a bit. So you like keeping pain? The, this is Jideon. This is a YouTuber, right? That I, somehow, someway, he has found a way to, you know, Catch this guy. He basically was probably catfishing. I mean, like, yeah, I'm this 14 year old girl. I'll meet you at a park. And he showed up, and now we're confronting. So, you like keeping panties? I don't keep panties, but. I don't know if you ever watched SpongeBob. You know the panty burger? He got a Naruto hoodie on. And Naruto fandom also ain't beating allegations. Yeah, you know how. That. Is that like maybe where you got that idea from? <laughs> oh, nah. Bro's the collector. <laughs> Comments are probably so. Wait, you can't even see the comments right Sorry, sorry. Let me let me move my face over here. <laughs> I'm reading the comments over here. Bro's the collector. SpongeBob, maybe. Freaky ass motherfucker. No, he cooked. Just... Don't say that. Do not say this. You say this shit, you will get banned. This is a kick stream, right? This is a kick stream. You cannot say this in chat right now. You will actually get banned. Discord, Twitch, they do not fuck around. Don't mess around with this shit, okay? Some anime. I watch. What anime? It's like something jobless or what? Something jobless. Let, let, let me increase the volume and, uh, and uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go, let's go back a little bit, okay? Do you watch the anime? He said. I watch. What anime? It's like something jobless. Or jobless whatever, what? Where he keeps his master's fucking panties as a fucking. He keeps his master's panty. Oh no. The reason why he's a collector. Right? There was the discussion of you keeping those girls' panties. Because, you know, this show, the jobless something, you know? There's a guy that keeps his master's panties in a shrine, perhaps? <laughs> oh, no. These are the things that you're not supposed to be doing. This is what I'm saying, bro. Remember the video I made about fucking Mushoku Tensei PDF files? Like, dudes literally self-reporting their PDF file tendencies and saying, like, yeah, this is actually good. Like, you guys are just too woke. Like, yeah, I'm down for them. Like, you guys are fucking crazy. Like, there's a lot of good parts about Rudius that you're supposed to, you know, root him on for, right? The way that he deals with past trauma and, like, confronts his problems in a different world all the different like p positive things there's a lot of good sides but then there's also a lot of the weird creepy shit right yes when we laugh and we see you know roxy's panties in the shrine it's weird it's creepy we laugh at it but you can separate fiction from reality and you should know that you shouldn't do this shit real life but he praises them and shit but no but me i don't he so up but a McDonald's employee. Ain't this the Hunter Hunter guy? Ask if he's affiliated with Diddy. Oh. Bro, what the hell? So you Bro, this dude might turn into a villain after this. Did the anime maybe gave you that idea? I don't know. It's just something that kind of turned me on. You know. It turned you on? That's what I'm saying, bro. As good as Mushoku Tensei is, the degeneracy portrayed by Rudy, which is not supposed to be inspiring. It's not supposed, you're not supposed to watch it and go, that's my goat. I, that, that's who represents me. You're supposed to be like, ew, that's fucking weird. There may be some comical moments, but beyond that, let's see what this character can develop into. But how the fuck is your ass sitting here? Trying to meet up, link up with the miner, trying to steal their panties. Like, yeah, I, I watched this show, Jobless Something. You know, he steals his master's panties, turn me on. No, you knew the whole time that this was wrong, right? Yes. You said, I feel like I'm going to get a case. Yeah, I know. <laughs> kind of turned me on. And that's pretty much it. Now, the best part is reading the Twitter comments. And before we continue, I want to make it very, very clear. There is no sides here. Right? This is not Mushoku Tensei bad the video, right? We're calling out the specific freaks that exist in any fandom. This is not Mushoku Tensei specific, but of course, due to the main character being such a fucking creep, you're definitely going to attract weirdos like him. Doesn't mean Mushoku Tensei bad, but this is an extreme outlier case where someone is actually trying to meet Miner, trying to collect panties and saying, Rudy's my goat. I will never forgive the Wait, 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 what the fuck? We're talking about MT right now. Where is the Razor community coming from? Rent free, living rent free. Let's see, let's open up the thread. What in the fuck are you on about, brother? 
Hold up, let's 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 load. Why did ReZero just get mentioned? <laughs> what did ReZero community even do here? Hoopy just has a profile pic and look at her post. There are more model fans than ReZero. I think, oh, whatever. Yo, you good, man? You've been going at it for a while now, bro. Now, I think that this could be actually funny. If he's not being serious, I think that, like, just, just, like, referencing ReZero fandom in, like, a Mushoku Tensei drama video is actually a very meta joke. If he's being, like, ironic and, like, sarcastic and, like, oh, I can't believe ReZero community did this to us. Of course, cause Subaru better. More fucking, more fucking uh, spoilers. Uh, I don't know. This, this is pretty funny, actually. Just straight. This is my problem with Mushoku Tensei fans. Okay, here we go. Let's read this one. Come on, load, motherfucker. Come on. Man, Twitter is so fucking slow. This is my problem with Mushoku Tensei fans. Actually, Mushoku Tensei in general, but the fans especially, they do not see any issues with it. And. You can't just generalize an entire fandom with one freak. This can be done in any community. There's always gonna be weirdos, mentally ill motherfuckers that makes everything look bad. 99% of the people are chill and the 1% will ruin it for everybody. But it can definitely be said that Rudy is definitely creepy. He's a degenerate. Time after time, we're reminded of how much of a creep he is. And because how mainstream and popular Mushoku Tensei gets, I think that there's motherfuckers that genuinely believe that these weird behaviors are somehow justified, that these weird behaviors are now finally being represented. We, this degenerate fucking weirdos, can finally get, you know, like the spotlight put onto us without people thinking we're weird. I genuinely think that there is a subsection of Mushoku Tensei fans that think this way. And perhaps this guy is an example of that. First, sorry for my bad English. Second, dude, if you read the reaction from the fans, you'll see that they're asking for this to be deleted or simply saying this guy doesn't represent them at all. Because he doesn't. He just simply watched Mushoku Tensei and saw a creepy moment and was inspired by it. Does that mean he represents Mushoku Tensei? No, but I'm telling you that this is what Mushoku Tensei can do to those fucking freaks. Been in this community for years and never once seen someone defending actual PDF perversion. I'm not going to say MT should be censored, but the premise is inherently problematic. I hate the fact it's not treated as an etchy, but people generally sympathize with Rudius. They actually believe he redeems himself somehow. Ooh, this is going to be a spicy one, right? And a lot of people say, like, Mushoku Tensei is a redemption story. And then other people immediately say, you didn't watch that one fucking video, motherfucker. Mushoku Tensei is not a redemption story because in the talking points here, there's a lot of different interpretations. People say it's because it's not a redemption because Rudy actually did nothing wrong. And the other interpretations of this is the fact that Rudy himself does not actually learn from his past mistakes and all the degenerate shit, he just kind of casually gets away with it in the you know, Mushoku Tensei timeline. This is what people are basically saying. These are the talking points. Um, it's not about redemption, it's about change. You missed the entire point of the story. If he never makes up for or is punished for what he did, then what's the moral of the story? Change is nothing without redemption. I think this is all semantics at the end of the day. You, there, you can't tell me that you've seen Mushoku Tensei and you don't believe that Rudy has growth. Of course, he's gonna be creepy sometimes, right? That's just his core DNA. But there has been a lot of development around him, specifically like in season two, right? The way that he's dealing with his sister, Norn, the way he's dealing with Paul, all that shit, pain and suffering. I don't think that um, there has been no change, but people fixate on this one specific like degenerate tendency. And they'll basically just go on with that and say that he doesn't change. Oh, come on, Kuma. What does this have to do with the actual show, man? A bad person getting influenced by the obvious evil that she show? is showing you on purpose doesn't make the show bad. And yeah, again, like, this is a hilarious moment, but I don't think this is Mushoku Tensei bad, okay? The guy in this video is a fringe case rather than a status quo. What he did should be blamed on him, not the show. Absolutely. Besides, I don't know what part of the Mushoku Tensei family we've interacted with, but the parts I hang around in don't excuse Rudius' bad traits. And that's great. And I think that this is definitely the majority of the MT fandom that are reasonable they're level-headed but there's also these motherfuckers and i've seen them in my comment sections too where they actively defend and justify and reinforce this degenerate tendencies because they feel like they have, there's a safe space like mushoku tensei has given them like a safe space naruto fan always has hashtag them always naruto fans yeah everyone's forgetting that he's wearing a fucking naruto hoodie by the way this is false rudius does not encourage this behavior does he but like, 
Okay. I've literally, I mean, his, 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 his name is number one empty defender. But come on. He literally said, there's a guy that steals his master's panties and that turned me on. Rudy does this. Rudy has never been shown to disavow or say, nah, this is fucked up. There's been moments where he might have feel ashamed of other people finding out about the shrine, but he's never felt like this is a terrible thing I'm doing and I'm not going to do it anymore. And he saw that and he was like, damn, I want to be just like him. So can you really say that Rudius does not encourage this behavior? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just using logic, right? It's Rudy's core behavior to worship Roxy's panties in the shrine. <laughs> He's all about that shit. I, 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 come on. His ass has not changed. He worships his post adulthood, bro. Because he's weird like that. Where are we going with? Are you retarded? So you, you admit, you admit he does this shit, but he's not. Wait, I, people just make up their own fantasies in their mind. The logical fallacies, the contradictions. You yourself admit that he still keeps that panty shrine. <laughs> but he's weird like that, and because he's weird like that, he does not encourage this behavior. No, I think you're weird like that. I genuinely think that you, you, this is a bad look. Like, people like this genuinely make Mushoku Tensei look bad. Does doing equal en encouraging? That's another point to be made, right? He's not actively saying, you, should, you guys should all do this shit, right? He does it himself. He doesn't think that it's bad. But that doesn't mean he's actively encouraging others. But it's all semantics. It's a guy doing an act and another person being inspired by it. Even if that guy doing the act says you shouldn't do this, you're still fucking showing it. It's, 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 it's literally like fucking train wrecks or XQC or like these motherfuckers that gets a gambling streaming contract. And, and you know what they do, right? They gamble, they gamble, they gamble. They sell all this terrible shit that you should never be you know, showing kids. And then what do they say? Don't get it twisted. Gambling is bad. You shouldn't do this. But they keep fucking doing it in front. Like, come on. Come, come, come on. Even if he directly doesn't encourage this behavior, <laughs> are you really gonna say? Are you really gonna say that this is not weird? Come on, bro. Lamau, sure, bro. Bro is worshiping old stinky pants. I don't think they're stinky. I think that Rudy probably keeps it in pretty good condition. Rudy just literally keeps Roxy's panties for years and worshiping even when he becomes an adult. What are you smoking, bro? Why am I not following? <laughs> More freaks. Oh, is there any other content? This dude probably paid a homeless guy five bucks. <laughs> he's making multiple. He's making multiple fucking comments here. Uh, maybe MT is indeed peak. Oh boy. Ended Pedoku Tensei. You know you want to delete. I've asked very nicely. This fandom ain't beating the allegations. Honestly, if I was a Mushoku Tensei fan. And I had freaks like this in the comment section saying this shit. Like, I would not feel proud of it. I, I would honestly be like, you're making us look bad, bro. Like, what are you doing? Is there anything else? Delete this now. Please delete this for the sake of empty community. Bro, you need to delete your own tweets. You make the empty community look so fucking bad. Just delete. Please, please. This guy is actually so mentally ill. Holy shit. Bro, delete this OMG. Please, I'm begging. Delete MT Rep in the mud now, but it's under even that. <laughs> this is a nasty setup. Why did he have to say MT? People hated him for dropping Mushoku Tensei, but ED Anime was right, Lamau. The GOAT. The one person that stood on business on that episode when Ares and Rudy did the deal. There was only one reaction channel that said enough is enough. This shit's fucking weird. I'm stopping this shit. I drop it and goddamn, he got dragged for that in the comment sections. A lot of people are upset, but I respect the man that stands by his principles. Listen, I have no principles. My only principles are money and logic, okay? So I'm gonna farm Mushoku Tensei, but I can truly respect him for just dropping that shit. What the fuck, Lamau? It has never been so over for MT <laughs> fan base. It's not that serious, brother, but you're tweeting like you have like 11 separate tweets under this fucking thing This is a certified muster on the beat yo moment and we Mushoku Tensei fan have nothing to do with it Dude looks like Rudy as if he was reincarnated into earth once again, but in the US <laughs> 
What the fuck is this? Yup, another peak zero victory. All I need to see is the Brazilian flag here. And I know that we fucking memeing. What am I watching? What am I, what am I looking at? It's Subaru. He's gotten an additional arm. Looks like an invisible Providence training has, uh, has you know, it's, uh, it's gotten stronger. He's holding Rudy by a chain. Subaru Natsuki, Ghana. And I, I think that this is where we can end off this video. Basically, funny clip of a degenerate, which does not represent Mushoku Tensei. Just, just basically it's like, yeah, I saw, you know, Rudy, you know, take Roxy's panties. It was hot. So I, th I thought I'd do it too. And a bunch of motherfuckers just crying in the comment section saying that this does not represent us. And I truly do believe that it does not represent the Mushoku Tensei fandom. Right? Remember, in any show, it can happen in any community. There's always going to be bad faith actors that make you look bad. Then there's going to be content creators such as Gideon and myself putting a magnifying glass on that to make it seem like a bigger deal. So, what we, so that what we do? So that we can farm the engagement. That's it at the end of the day. It's really not that serious. But this picture is fucking hilarious.